Uh, my name is Lisa Hoppenikerk. I am a director and a choreographer. I'm also an arts activist. And uh, for Joburg Moves, I am playing the role of curator and I'm also coordinating this dance season. Joburg Moves, um, some can call it a festival, but we decided to land on the word dance season. Um, and it's like a French platform that you'll find at a dance festival. And really, the idea was birthed um, about July, August last year, when UJ Arts and Culture kind of realized that there was a gap in the market, particularly where Johannesburg dance community is concerned. And we were reminiscing about the days of, you know, when we used to annually go to your uh, dance umbrellas and we used to celebrate dance in Johannesburg. And we realized that really since 2018, we actually haven't had that kind of platform. So not only do we need a platform to celebrate Johannesburg dance, but we realized that we needed to activate and rejuvenate the Johannesburg audiences and also to share our audiences because we realized that dance is multi-dimensional, number one. It's not just a physical element. There's so many elements to dance that people are not aware of, people are not um, don't have access to. Um, and so we really wanted to ignite that and and expose already existing audiences to other dimensions and elements of dance. And so we thought that uh, Joburg Moves is a really great opportunity to do something like that. So um, it's very exciting for me because as I mentioned, I feel like um, it's very important to highlight that dance is multidimensional. So obviously um, we know that dance is a performative art and so we're gonna have quite a few performances from the likes of Moving Into Dance, which is a historic and legendary dance company that's based in uh, Newtown in Johannesburg. And they are presenting works by Sunny Boy Mudau, who is the um, current artistic director. And he choreographed something beautiful called Um Tombo. And then we are lucky because we've got the legendary Sylvia Tlasa and uh, MID will also be presenting her work, which is um, Baobab. So then we've got Joburg Ballet, which is presenting works from uh, Craig Pedro, which is Ukukanya um, Guignana, which is quite, it's, it's quite relevant in the idea of Joburg Moves because Ugo Kanya Wenyanga speaks about the trials and tribulations that we've been through as a people of Johannesburg and yet we are still dancing in the moonlight of Johannesburg. So I thought it was quite apt for this program. Um, then we've got uh, Tamsanga Chabalala, three-time uh, Naledi nominee. And uh, Tami will be presenting a brand new work called Pitticle Princess, which is celebratory of the roles that women play, but also how the challenges that they have um, in society and actually uplift, uh, upliving or living up to the roles that, that they play in society. And we also have uh, Smangali Songwena who is uh, directed by David April and he is presenting Evelyn, which is like a poetic, um, a poetic conversation between himself and his mother. And uh, we then thought, or I thought, that it would be wonderful to present another element or dimension of dance. And so I thought an open dance exhibition might be fabulous. And David April has happily jumped on um, because David has now become renowned as a photographer, particularly in the Johannesburg scene. And he really goes out of his way to attend all kinds of shows, um, mainstream theater, alternative theater. And he always sits in the first, say, row or second row and um, takes photos, beautiful photos of productions artists, choreographers, and so I thought let us commemorate this beautiful work that he's doing that um, I don't think we celebrate enough as a dimension of dance and so we've got a David April um, dance exhibition on. We've also got an extension of his exhibition that will be in the form of a short film. Uh, then we've got master classes. We've got um, some incredible master classes but another one I want to highlight is a master class by David April and this time I really wanted us to not just focus on the physical element of dance but but also dance photography and teaching dancers what it means to be the one in front of the lens, but also other collaborators like photographers, like um, VOPs and, and, and the, the like, uh, teaching them what it means to also engage with dancers behind the lens. So that's uh, a masterclass that I'm particularly um, excited about. And lastly, the element of dance academies and educational um, institutions in Johannesburg. And so I've invited a few of them on a platform to come and showcase themselves and say, we're here, we're loud and we're proud, and also to expose their audiences to even bigger platforms and dimensions of dance. So in a nutshell, that's 
our program. <laughs> um, you know, the more I've worked on Joe Moves and the more I've collaborated with uh, UJ and the team at UJ, the more we've realized that Joe Moves is like a love letter to Johannesburg. And if we had to write out that letter, we'd probably start by saying, Dear Joburg, you've forgotten how much you love to dance. And I think that's the most important kind of underlying current for this dance season that uh, we really want to remind Johannesburg as a collective, as a community, as a society, um, that we love to move. And so let's move and not just move in our silos, but let's move together and let's celebrate dance together. So uh, you can catch us from the 23rd of April until the 26th of April. That's Tuesday to Friday, um, April. And we are showing at UJ Arts and Culture at the Kingsway campus. Um, and yes, all tickets will be available through Plankton, but you can check out more information on the UJ social media. Thank you.